But to answer those questions that we've been getting on what's going on with the price of oil, how are you all still being able to, you know, eat, basically is what some people say, we got to actually go back and look at the last 12 months. And what this graph shows here and why we put it on there is something that we've never seen before is actually not January when President Trump took office. That's actually the day after the election. And as you can see, oil has trended down constantly since that day. We know that. We have heard him say over and over again, drill, baby, drill. But we want everybody to produce and we want everybody to make money. Well, how are we actually doing that? And that's where we have to now dive in and talk. Here just this past week, uh, OPEC got together and what they talked about was the fact that they believe that almost a 20% increase in the next 25 years uh, for the demand for oil and gas along with uh, other sources, but really what they see primarily is, a, is an increase. And what I want to point out and with this neat deal is right here, electricity generation. We've now had two talks about AI, science and technology. What is very interesting is that that is exactly what OPEC is also predicting, that that is going to continue and that liquid natural gas is going to be the one to fuel that next generation. And really here, or not here, excuse me, in Hawaii, but in Texas where we are, we actually have enough liquid natural gas right now to produce and uh, provide energy for the next 100 years. And that's in Texas alone. And I do believe that liquid natural gas would be a true transition fuel. But right now, I do believe it's all about energy addition, not transition.